Your Excellency, thank you very much for your time. Welcome you, to Russell Kaima. Welcome to Russell Kaima Government Media Office. Um, we know you've spent half a day here so far. Um, but what are your the highlights about your visit so far? And you know, what do you hope to achieve from this visit to Russell Kaima? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be in Ras Al Haima as the uh, Turkish Consul General to Dubai and Northern Emirates. Uh, and uh, it's a pleasure for me also to be present here with you at Ras Al Haima Government Media Office. Uh, since morning I arrived, uh, we have visited uh, Marjan Island, the Tourism Authority, uh, Rakes, and uh, we received uh, an audience from uh, His Highness, uh, which was the uh, uh, I would say highest part, part, part point of our visit, the tip of our visit. Uh, so far, we are fascinated by, by, by the story of Ras Al Haima. Uh, I have been in the United Arab Emirates for the last six months. I heard a lot about Ras Al Haima, but uh, what I heard is far below uh, what in Ras Al Haima is now and what. Will we, what we will be in Ras Al Haima in the near future. Uh, the vision of His Highness uh, is on the progress. That is the vision which built, which established Rack Ceramics, the pharmaceutical company. And I think uh, with this vision, Ras Al Haima will be far better place, not only for the residents of Ras Al Haima or for the people of United Arab Emirates, for the region and its beyond. It's going to be a point of attraction, point, point of leisure, point of joy, point of uh, happiness point of welfare, not only uh, with the uh, natural beauties, which is amazing, but also with the manufacturing uh, industry, uh, with the free zones, uh, with the ports, uh, with all these facilities, uh, tourist, touristic hospitality facilities. I think uh, you will receive more and more people to Ras Al Haima in the near future. Your Excellency, you touched upon your meeting with His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Sagar Al Qasimi this morning. Um, what were the key takeaways from that meeting on your behalf? What were the discussion points uh, that you, you had with the ruler of Ras Al Khaimah? Well, Steve, I'll be honest with you. This is not the first time uh, as a bureaucrat that I will receive uh, by a high level official, by, by a ruler. Uh, but the meeting that I had with His Highness uh, was an exceptional one. Not only in terms of what we thought, but also in terms of what we saw. Such a visionary guy with such a humble attitude. It was a very friendly conversation, uh, and I really felt the friendship, the brotherhood between my nation, Turkey, Turkish people, and uh, United Arab Emirates and Emirati people. Uh, he was very uh, uh, open, very frank, and uh, was very generous uh, while sh uh, by sharing uh, his views, his ideas. Uh, and uh, his good stories. I really felt that uh, I am at my home as well. Your Excellency, you heard a little bit um, earlier from Rakez and also from our uh, discussions just now um, that you know the Russell Kaim is a growing business hub, a very diversified economy. Um, we were interested to find out, you know, what sectors is Turkey um, interested in? You know, where do you think that Turkish companies could fit into the business ecosystem here in Russell Kaim? One thing that surprised me a lot, and uh, we had this conversation with His Highness as well, that the uh, Russell Haima economy is very diversified, and the biggest, the strongest arm of this economy is manufacture. Uh, it is the same uh, with Turkey as well. Uh, we are very proud with our manufacturing uh, society. Uh, I think that would be a very uh, key sector for Russell Haima and a couple of cities in Turkey that, uh, we, that can cooperate. Uh, one another thing is, of course, hospitality. Uh, we are big in hospitality as Turkey. Uh, we are part of this Mediterranean Riviera. Uh, we have luxurious hotels, middle-income hotels, many things. Uh, that's, that would be another uh, sector that we can cooperate on for sure. Uh, also, what you have, uh, which is very hidden uh, in Ras Al Haima, is the natural and historical beauty. Uh, we are very proud uh, with our country as we have four, living four seasons at the same time uh, and history that dates back to uh, before, uh, before uh, Jesus. So uh, I think this is the same in Ras Al Haima. 
that you need to you know, explore a little bit more, you have to tap this potential a little bit. We have the, this expertise, we have this legacy. I think that's also an area that we can cooperate uh, really well together. And just finally, Your Excellency, um, are, would you anticipate any high-level delegation from Turkey, perhaps visiting Ras al Khaimah in the future? Um, you know that uh, you know, there's been a, a greater focus on Ras al Khaimah in recent years. Um, is that something that you could foresee uh, in the coming well, years? I consider myself as an ambassador or consul general of Ras al Khaimah on behalf of Turkey and Turkish nation. Um, therefore, uh, I think uh, with a little bit of uh, support from your end, from our end, there will be many visitors, high level, mid level, from Turkey to Ras al Khaimah. And we should do is not a single way, but two way transit. Uh, there has to be more and more visits. Uh, from uh, between Turkey and Rasselheim and with the vision of His Highness, with the work in progress, I can easily imagine that soon, inshallah, we will have lots of visitors from Turkey because what you guys are building here on the basis of the uh, leadership and vision of His Highness is very attractive, not only for Turkey but for all the world.